All right, so I've got uh, Yasmin here. We've found this great cafe, and what I want to do is that really cool shot where you've got the beautiful girl in the cafe, and there's the glass in front. It kind of gives a real romantic feel. You see them a lot. I shoot these a lot when I'm doing lifestyle shots. So, a couple of things to consider. I'm going handheld, so I'm going to have my ISO up high because I'm shooting with my long lens. I don't want to have camera shake. So 200 mil lens, going to multiply that by two to work out what is the minimum shutter speed I need to shoot at to not have camera shake. 400, one 400th of the second is the minimum. I want to shoot so I don't, there is a lot going on in the background of this shot, a lot of stuff that I don't really want to have it see it growing out of Yasmin's head. So I want to really throw the background out of focus. So I'm going to shoot at f2.8 to make sure that that happens. Focusing on her eyes, okay, making sure that my ISO is high enough to get that. So, uh, and I want to make sure that her skin tone is nice and bright. So, I've got my shutter speed, I've got my ISO set to 800. And that is giving me a reading of the correct reading of uh, one four hundredth of a second, but I think that's going to be slightly under. We'll just do a test shot. So when I say correct reading, if I look at my meter uh, inside my camera, it's set at the exact point at zero. It's correct. But for skin tone, zero is not exactly correct because it's going to give me average looking skin tone. I like my skin tones to be a little bit brighter than Hans has set in the camera. So it's not, it's not the average. I want better than average. I want bright, white, clean looking skin tones. So at the average, it's not looking too bad. And the reason for that is because there is a lot of black in the background of the shot. So in this instance, because the background is so dark, uh, the meter is taken in that into consideration. And, uh, and it, it shows uh, actually a, a good reading in this instance. So we're looking pretty good. I'm focusing on Yasmin's eyes. And just while she's uh, doing that and getting herself organized, she's pouring her coffee. And in a minute, I've already directed her earlier. I told her what she needed to do and um, where she needed to look for this shot. So uh, once she's ready, she's set up and I'll just start shooting. So here we go and she's looking absolutely gorgeous and she knows to move her eye line because I've already pre-directed her and she's looking down and she's looking pensive and she's putting it down, that's it, that's great, that's gorgeous. And we, so we got that beautiful lifestyle-y, soft, 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 dreamy background that's great beautiful shot fantastic so there it is you got all the reflections there going on just makes for a dreamy cool little shot so that was looking great but what I noticed is you can actually really tell that the cars that are on the street are reflected. Now in an ideal world I'd have the, the street cleared but you can't always do that so I've changed angles and found a better spot and if I uh, scooch down low enough I can shoot so that you can't recognise the outline of the car and it's just beautiful reflections on Yasmin's face so we're just going to reshoot that now and get a, a better looking shot. So she's gonna work it for me. There it is. Focusing on her eyes, that's great. And just, just looking forward, that's it, that's cute. That's great. And just making sure. So if I go up just slightly, I can actually eliminate the outline of the car. That's it. Got, got some nice wind action happening as well as so you get that beautiful dreamy sort of soft out of focus action happening in the shot that's it she's just bringing the cup down that's great beautiful perfect that's 
nice, really dreamy. So now you can see that changing the angle has made a real difference. We're not seeing the outline of the car as much and I can actually come in a bit tighter on that shot and you get like a really nice series, beautiful reflections. It's got that lovely lifestyle feel. So uh, cool looking shot.